The nation celebrated its veterans on Saturday, including a group of sisters who honored their late grandfather's memory by spreading goodwill around the world one greeting card at a time. When Air Force veteran Thomas Plumeret of Hubbard, Ohio, was stationed overseas during the Korean War, he kept in touch with his family back home with letters and cards, a tradition he continued with his grandchildren after the war. WTO 11's Ryan Lusheen has more. My grandpa was great at sending cards. He would always pick out the perfect one. He sent them on your obvious holidays, Halloween, birthdays, Christmas, Easter, but then he would send it just because it was Tuesday or because it had been too long since you called and he wanted you to give him a call. A tradition that always put smiles on their faces. Somehow he always knew the perfect time to send one. You know, I'd be having a bad week, he'd not know about it, but then a card would show up and it would just be hilarious or cute or supportive and it just turned your whole day around. When Tom passed away shortly before his 84th birthday in 2019, his family decided to spread 84 random acts of kindness in his honor. And then that Christmas, my wife gifted us the domain to projecttom.org and set it up so people could submit requests for greeting cards. With hundreds of cards filled with Papaism lines of wisdom, their goodwill has reached farther than they could ever have imagined. We never expected to send 2,500 cards in just three years, um, but sometimes we just kind of go viral on the internet and we just get flooded re with requests, and it's amazing to see those requests come in. It's amazing to be able to share Papa with everybody. With the cards sent to 50 states and 27 different countries, Veterans Day could soon be filled with many Papaisms. Reporting for WTOL 11, this is Ryan Lusheen.